everyone today i'll be teaching us how to make this um, sleeve it's called a drum sleeve or pleated sleeve you know basically it's a combination of an off shoulder sleeve with um, a pleated pattern on top so let's get started so first of all you need to create a basement for the pleated part which is going to be a variation of our off shoulder sleeve okay so i have done a tutorial on how to do an off shoulder sleeve before now so i'll just do like a quick recap okay so we're drafting an off shoulder sleeve so from the top there i'll be marking four inch okay so that is going to be my cap line now to get your cap line you divide your bust circumference by 12 and add 0 0.5 okay so i'm working with four inches approximately then so i'm drawing a line and this line will be my cap line then of course the length of the off shoulder sleeve okay so i'm just marking seven even though for this tutorial we don't need this much but we're adapting a basic off shoulder sleeve okay so from there we'll cut out the the sleeve that we want so now to get the um sleeve head measurements for the off shoulder sleeve you subtract your upper bust circumference from your shoulder circumference okay so for mine is around um, seven so half of that will give me 3.5 then on the cap line here you're going to mark half of your armhole circumference measurements so that's eight then of course on the last line here you mark half of your bicep or round sleeve measurements so i'll connect all three points together and then connect here okay so in case you didn't get that explanation i've done a tutorial on how to start with an off shoulder sleeve before now so this is the armhole okay then this is the sleeve opening here and i've not done any seam allowance yet okay and this will be cut on fold okay and this is the sleeve head okay so um this is your basic off shoulder sleeve and i'll be cutting this out okay but for the drum sleeve, okay, the basement we're trying to create is not the full off shoulder sleeve. You know, it's all this kind of off shoulder sleeve like, that, like more like um, a stripe, okay. So, but you have to do this first, and then you now cut out the width of what you want. So, I'll be cutting out my basic off shoulder sleeve. Then next, we're going to measure the width of um, the strap, okay. Okay, so this is it here. Okay, and then, like I said, it's to be on fold. Now, for the width of the strap, it depends on you. Minimum two inches. Okay, and most times those straps do not get to the um, armhole. Okay, but it could get there. It depends on what you want. So you could do two inch, can do three. Okay, so um, I think I'll just stick to either three point five or four inch. So let me just do 3.5 inch. Okay, so I'll just rule that. So what I'm saying in essence is you're making an off shoulder sleeve that's, you know, the strap-like type. You can't just cut out a straight rectangle. Okay, so here, this is it here. So this will be the basement for the drum sleeves. Okay, now I'll cut this on fold now. It's supposed to be on fold. So I'll fold my paper into two like this and cut and fold okay yeah so i'll just add my seam allowance half into the top half into the armhole part and then half inch downwards so this is going to be cut on fold on your fabric okay and you'll be cutting two of this one for fabric one for lining okay so that's for the basement now let's go to the main tutorial okay which is the pleated part or the drum sleeve part now for the pleated part is very very easy okay so what you do is you're going to be measuring um the width of the off shoulder sleeve okay if you take into cognizance the same allowance okay which is half inch on both sides on the armhole part so you just measure to give you like an average okay you could still reduce the width if you want to so i just measure from here to here i have about um say 12 inches okay so that has given me an idea now for your drum sleeve you should do at least times three or times four okay 
now this is my pattern paper so the first thing i'm going to measure the length of the drum sleeve okay it can be as long as this but i'll be doing 10 inches but definitely it has to be longer than the um basement so i'm just doing 10 inches okay then for the width you should do at least times three because you're going to be creating pleats okay so times three should be about 36 inches which is the width of my paper here but you can make yours times four if you want more pleats okay so i've marked 10 inches on the, on the other side then i'll just fold my paper now if you're doing this you don't need to use pattern paper i'm using paper because it's a tutorial you can just cut this directly on your fabric okay so um i'm just going to measure 10 inch again just to be sure of my measurement and then i'll connect you know i always work with rulers do not assume that your line is you know straight by just drawing a random line always choose your rulers so i'll just cut out okay so we have a large rectangle that we're going to be using to create the um pleats okay all right so what you're going to do now is we are going to be um pleating the rectangle okay um now you're going to be cutting out two pieces of fabric okay one is going to act as your fabric so you can use african prints whatever this will be the main fabric that will be on the outside okay then you're also going to cut another piece of fabric which will be your lining okay so for me i like to use satin it's a bit um thick or any kind of lining you want to use okay so you're cutting both fabric and lining with the rectangle pattern okay then you could also add interfacing it's optional actually interfacing you can use color stay you can use paper stay you can use s stay you know any form of interfacing so that the the pleats can stand well except if the fabric you're using is quite thick okay so the interfacing is it's optional you could or you could not put it so i'll be using the rectangle the pattern to cut out both fabric and lining okay and i'll show us how to create the pleats so i cut out two rectangles i'm using two different satin fabric to do this tutorial okay so i've already turned it this is a rectangle here okay so like i said um you have both fabric and lining now let me show us how to create a pleat with my paper first before I take it to the sewing machine so what you do is you're going to uh, measure so that the pleats will be even that's the size of the pleats so you first of all measure out you know some like a few uh, inches away from the fold before the main plate will start so that's about half inch and then i have one one inch interval it depends you can make it smaller or bigger okay so you're going to fold the fabric like this you fold the fabric like this look at the fold there and then you take it to the sewing machine okay and so don't worry i'll show it on, on the machine i'm just explaining with um, the pattern paper so that's the first fold there then you create the second fold now the distance between the first and the second place must be even you can do one inch interval can do two inches so you sew down like that okay so you have two pleats and then the second one again but don't worry by the time i show us on the machine now you understand better so this is how you're going to be creating the pleats one by one all right let me show us on the sewing machine how to do that okay so um this is the rectangle here and i've created the first pleat you can see you can see after you fold it down then you stitch it down so now i want to create the second pleat you fold like this okay like i said the distance must be equal must be even after you fold you see then you sew it down okay now when sewing then make sure you don't stitch on top of the first split okay so you just stitch this down like this all right so let me just show us so um you can see the second plates here so i have the first and second plate now the distance between the first and second plate is about one inch 
if you don't want it to be this wide you can reduce it to about half inch so the second one now i'll make it half inch this is one inch that's the, the interval between the first and second one now this third one now i'll make it half inch i want us to just see the difference so the spacing the size of the pleat it depends on individual preference okay but it's still the same process so i'll just stitch down the third pleat like this so make sure you do not stick the this, this, um, third pleat on the second pleat. Okay. And meanwhile, you're sewing on the right side. So um, the the um, the part where you have the red fabric is going to be the part that will be showing outside. So you're sewing on the right side. So look at the spacing. You can see that this one is quite smaller than the first one. So it depends. So you just keep doing it like this. And then um, that's it, basically. So, um... For the first off that sleeve will cut out, this is it here. So you also be cutting fabric and lining for this and then you turn it. Then you, the pleats, the pleated um, parts will now be placed on this. I didn't complete it because I just wanted us to see, you know, the whole process. So you keep on making the pleats that I've done and then, you know, you're going to place it on this basement. And this is the part that will be attached to the um, armhole, which I will show us later when i place it on um, my dress form okay so um that's it basically so let me just show the finished product this is how it's going to look like okay so depending on the width of your sleeve it can be more or less okay so that's it so this sleeve you know has trended about two or three years ago but it's back now and i hope we enjoy I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up, leave your comment and reactions, kindly share to your friends and loved ones, and most importantly, do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you for watching. Bye.